So we're back from vacation, light baby vacation. He had a real vacation. Uh, and since we're back, we are gonna be working on Tyrone, our green E92, 2JZ, VCT swap. And we've been blowing axles consistently. Well, we haven't been doing well, Duarte's been blowing we, we axles. Ax then we upgraded axles. Yeah, and then we blew output and shafts. We output shafts. Snapping output shafts like it's our job. So we're gonna switch to this big honking thing right here, Ford 88 rear end. And SLG provides a full swap kit for you that is all bolt-on. So you can actually just take this Ford 88, bolt on the stuff provided by SLG, and it'll fit right into your BMW E92's rear subframe. Well, with axles and drive shaft. Yeah, you need axles and drive shaft, but the diff will bolt up through SLG brackets and make it nice and easy for you. So the only thing you have left to do is to buy Porsche output shafts for this and then get axles and a new drive shaft that fits this flange that has too many damn bolt holes in it. Count. Doctor. So we are trying to figure out how all this lines up here. We're noticing that these aftermarket bushings in here, there's like a crown that sits around here that allows the bolt to recess into it, but that crown's actually making it so we don't fit around where this um, U-bracket is. So I think what I'm gonna do is take this U-bracket off of the diff first so we can kind of play with that individually and then figure out where we're gonna line up with our front bushing because we are kind of close to the front bushing, but not as close as I'd like to be because this is almost right flush with the front of this right now which would make sense if we got rid of this um, ring around here, then this would mount up there. Now I'm wondering, I'm gonna look up the kit online, maybe there's a different bushing that's supposed to go with that one? Or maybe it's supposed to be just with the OEM ones? I don't know. So maybe we, we just up. text the guys from SLG and find out. Got them on speed dial. So it was really easy so far. We just bolted on the SLG parts to it. It came with everything. And now we have to take out these because these bushings are aftermarket Condor ones. And as Chris said, they poke out a little bit. That little recess right there, is enough to where this doesn't fit. So we'll either pop this out and have Donnie put it over on the lathe and turn it down, or I'll just take my flapper disc to it and just do it the cheap way and a lot faster. Okay, you know? so I'm finding more things, more information. So there is a two-piece bushing that will actually go inside of our subframe on that side, so that way we don't actually have to weld a plate in there. So we just have to go dig through the other E92 and find said bushing. So there's a factory hole right here that this bushing here will right. actually press into, and then the bolt will pass through and hold it, and that gives it the support from this end. For the front bushings, though, I have not actually seen them installed. Uh -oh. So, no condor bushings. No, so they said uh, something that is an OEM thickness, so I'm gonna go run over to Drift HQ, and we are gonna see what we have that's going to actually fit between here, we might just knock this one out and put a new one in. But worst case scenario, we'll just shave down the face of this because that looks like it's going to be really close. I just want the offset to be correct. Hi, Ben. Hello, good sir. What's up? We need a E92 dip bushings. Dip bushings. Got it. In stock. Preferably not stock condor. width. We have Condor. And we have Condor. We have, con we have Condor in the car, and the Condors are a little too fat. They said AKG or some other brand. I'm not sure. Uh, we'll see if RP has some. If not, yeah. We'll Show me the goods, baby. I think it's not one of the aisles. What the hell's yeah. Donnie doing here? Donnie's doing nothing. <laughs> Donnie it was building a box to ship out all of our parts for HGK to build us a. They haven't seen this yet. Donnie's Donnieing off. He's building stuff. Yeah, see that's if that fits it between there. Those are diff bushings? Yeah. Oh, oh, we're getting... Really? Differential we're getting, aluminum bushings. We're getting serious. You got Where's differential... Where's the third one supposed to go? You got differential non-aluminum? Oh, it looks like it fits. Yeah, it goes in there. It definitely goes in there. Okay. Cool. There you go. Put it on Duarte's tab. It's so nice to have this here. It's very convenient. Make sure, to, make sure to charge them for expedited shipping. We had to come over here on our scooters. Okay. Yeah. And I had to tow Joel the whole way. Extra shipping handling fee. Hey, while we're here, Joel, we might as well show the people. We have all sorts of other goodies that are available at DriftHQ.com, from flags to stickers to window banners 
to umbrellas. Every $5, you could win that cool, cool simulator that I can't drive for shit. Yeah, let's cut to the simulator. It shows me not doing good at all. Yeah, cut to it. So I forgot to tell you guys, we've been doing these videos for the past month on the builds that we've been doing, but we have neglected to mention that we have a sim that is up for you to win. Every $5 spent on lzmfg.com or drifthq.com gets you entered to win this thing. And it's sick. I didn't know how big the actual like TV screens were, but bro, these are like 47 inch monitors bent all the way around. It's more than 180 degrees. It goes behind you. And this thing's actually on like cool electric shocks. It's like, look at this shit. This is cool as hell. Anytime it goes around a corner or anything, it lifts up and moves around. Single 60 grand, plus you get $15,000 in cash to cover taxes or whatever. But this thing is epic, and you can drift anywhere in the world. He's drifting in Japan right now. Didn't have to fly there. He's just hitting the track. This thing is cool. I can't drive a sim for crap. Like, I probably couldn't even drive around the track without drifting, just not even hitting a wall. Just driving normally, because I'm horrible at these things. But I kind of want to give it a go. I don't think I'll ever get a chance to experience a sim like this, ever. This is like what F1 drivers and shit practice on. This is crazy. I didn't actually see how cool it was. I just saw like the videos on Adam's thing because I never actually come over here unless I need something. And I needed to see this. So I'm glad I came over. Damn, it's all billet stuff too. Can you like the, cl the old clutch kickers track or something? I kind of know that track. I can't drive for crap on a sim, but you know, we're gonna give it a go. You got them out? Look, it's my car with a lot less right, doors. Right, let's go, go, put you in there. You gotta nope. really like, just dump it. I don't know why, instead of course, you always gotta dump the clutch. All right? Where are you? Is this the compound? I think so. Oh, yeah. This ain't the compound. A sick limit. Oh! 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 Where am I? Oh my god. This thing is a sick limit. This, this is how you know cricket's good. He does not pull e brakes. Don't forget to look over here. Yeah, remember, there's a lot of screens to look at. But this yeah. is definitely not the compound that we drive at. Oh, ah! <laughs> Can't make that corner. Oh, look, I'm back on track. <laughs> Good God. I have no idea what I'm doing. Safari Crick. <laughs> yeah! Woo <laughs> <laughs> huh? Is this a sneak peek to future content? First person to ever roll an E46. What's up? Yes, sir. All right. Nice and easy. I love condor bushings. Going in, going out. Going in, going out. Going in, you can use a rubber mallet. Going out, you need something to do. Give it a little hokey pokey to get past it. But yeah, they slide in real nice. I'm going to put these back up on the shelf in here because we might end up using them again on another E92 build one day down the road because those are still perfect. <laughs> Tyro's got big, big energy. <laughs> so it's in there. <laughs> <laughs> so it's in there. Um, our diff height seems right about where we want it, which is wonderful. It's not that much lower than the stock one. It's going to offset whatever problems we have with it by it not breaking all the time. Yeah. And we have an another bushing coming in for it. We didn't have it with the kit. So they're sending it over to us. So right in this hole right here. Yeah. So it's a two piece aluminum bushing that like um, you just knock in from both sides and they'll carry the other side of the differential here. So it gives you a little bit extra support. They say you can run it with three, 
but obviously with four is one less thing to worry about. We don't need no more problems with this thing Strong. with differentials. Yeah, we want that. We want that last one. So we are now waiting for um, our output flange cups. Then we can measure for our axle length and we can figure out if we can just reuse our old bias fab axles or if we have to get new ones. And we're going to have to measure for a drive shaft. Very yeah. mul yeah. multiple bolt patterns over here. So um, we'll have to figure out which one we like the best, I guess. Unless we just want to use all SLG of them. SLG guys to send us that one that they had in their video that looks huge. Yeah, I'm concerned about going bigger than a three inch diameter because we still do have this reinforcement here where the um, center support bearing was bolted up. And also, yeah, the gas tank. Well, this is low enough now to where the gas tank's going to be. Hmm. Someone heard your fart in one of the videos. I saw the comment. Did they? They even like 33 minutes and 17 seconds in, someone farts. And I heard it, they're like, that's definitely Chris. Yeah. <laughs> Easter eggs. People be listening. Yeah, a little Easter egg. Yeah, he left an Easter egg somewhere else, not just in the video. Hey. So uh, while we have some wheels off of Tyrone, we figured, uh, you know, we'd throw them on Chris's yeah, car. He wants me to make really bad lifestyle choices. Really good lifestyle choices. I'm always good at boosting him into doing something he doesn't oh, want. These are really good lifestyle choices. That's like any so good. Better rod. You can go with an even bigger offset, personally. Yeah, since you're gonna be running like a skinnier tire, you know, low power cheap tire. Yeah, true. You don't have the M3 rear end in this. You don't want to be running those big tires like that. Uh, I think you have to do it now, Chris. Well, you needed to run Johnny's to begin with. As soon as you sign up, anybody that's listening to this, if you put over fenders on your car, you need to have good-looking wheels. You know, or at least a good fitment. Put a stack of huge ass spacer on there. I don't care how you do it. Make it look good. I will shame you into doing it on your car like I do, Chris. But, yeah. Chris? I know. I know what I need to do. I just don't want to do it. Well, that's actually perfect. Hey, put I mean, it's got a decent bit of camera. Put the rear bumper thing back on. Tell me. Oh, my God, Chris. If you could see it from back here. Cricket, hold that. Is that not the spot right there? It's, it's so good. It's a sweat. I know. So everybody comment below if Chris should get some Kansai two-piece Johns. Kansai. Kansai. Let me get some sweet drug dealer wheels for this thing. Yeah, uh, do, do that order by two because I have a Sandan out back. Yeah, double down. You know, double down. We're going to match the same color paint job, everything. So that's not the same match of wheels. You only need one. You get the one set and then you get the monoblocks that look kind of like them. That's a good call. That's a good call. Yep. Yep. Yep, you're doing it. Oh, That's horrible. No. Stop. Stop. Is, no. Not happy about it either. So we're doing this again? Flip flopping around. We got our Polish guy coming back uh, this coming week. And back at it again. Yeah, we're back on this one. So we found out that when it was on the dyno that our oil pressure was, what was it? Uh, maxing out our sensor is what it was. Maxing out our sensor. So I don't know actually how high it was getting, but it was too high. But yeah, so um, <laughs> with these pumps, they come with a pressure relief spring, which when you get the powerhouse racing ones, there is the spring and then there is a washer. As you've seen before, we always tend to remove the... Um, the pump housings and then put a bunch of oil and everything in there so i think that the relief plunger is actually stuck in this one so what i'm going to do is just pull everything off the front of the engine 90 oh 94 degrees you're cold ice cold as ice baby so i'm gonna pull everything off the front of the engine um just remove the water pump and stuff like that and then just be able to have access to where that relief valve spring is which is just one little hex that I have to take out, remove the washers, grease that plunger, and put it back together. So by the beginning of next week, we'll be more focused on what we're supposed to be doing build-wise on cars. We might even have having something new come out. Hopefully, we're, right. we're praying for it. We have something we want to share with you. We can't show it yet. We're really, really excited about it. In the meantime, we're going to keep doing other things. Like, we're going to get this bad boy running. We're going to get it back on the dyno, because our first dyno you know, we were having some issues with the transmission, it being a DCT out of a um, diesel engine, and it was only revving up to like 3,500 RPMs and shutting down. So now that we have Adam coming back, we are able to go back to the dyno, put it on there. He has the problem fixed. So we're gonna have him fix this one, 
finished Colette's uh, DCT as well. And then, yeah, I'm not sure. We're going to keep him. We're going to steal his passport. Yeah, we're not we like him. having him around. He's fun. So we're going to see if we can, like, absorb him like we did Donnie. Wherever Donnie ran off to. But, yeah, we like Adam. So he's coming back. We're really excited. Uh, we hear he's eventually going to open up his own YouTube channel so you guys can bug him and ask him all those nerdy questions that you need answers to because we don't know. If we did, we wouldn't need him. And I'm not willing to learn, and neither is Chris. So we're going to try and kidnap him. Tuarte said steal his uh, passport as soon as he gets here. Yeah. And I'm on board with that. He's going to move in with Joel. It's going to be a good time. So in this video, you saw a whole bunch of everything. The whole front end's off, Joel. So now we gotta um, get some answers on our oil um, spring for our oil pump. And I'm gonna get this all wrapped up because tomorrow we have Jonas coming back. And speaking of wrapping up the video, he's gonna wrap up our car for us. Yeah, I don't know if we're allowed to say what it's gonna be. Maybe we film the next, you know, two videos in black and white. That'd be pretty cool. So like, subscribe, comment, and guess what color we're gonna wrap this car. How about that? What color do you think we should do? And I'll give a free t-shirt to whoever guesses the proper color on my dime. You're shipping it though, Joel. You gotta go, you gotta go in with me on it. Right. Whoever picks the right color, and I mean the right color, has to be like, say for instance, the Lamborghini, you know, like the certain color. You pick the right color, I'll send you a t-shirt. Leave your color comment below. Let's, like, give them, let's give them a hint. It's two words. It's, it's two words. And, it's, an and it's not a normal color that we normally paint cars. Yep. So this gives it a wide array of what it can be. Green. Yeah, it, the two words are not Java green, right D? Right. All right. So like, subscribe, comment, and don't forget to comment on what color we're going to do this. And we're going to eventually put in a real catch can, not this Corona can. <laughs> it's looking trashy. It worked good at the dyno, but we're going to do something better. So.